You guys clearly want to know more about NFTs. So luckily, Affinity reached out to me to sponsor this video. So today we're going to talk about our upcoming Bruce Lee drop. We're going to talk about the ERAN token. And we're going to talk about the Affinity marketplace. So guys, enough to talk about. Let's get right into the video. First though, what is Affinity? So Affinity is a platform where they host, well, authenticated and licensed NFTs. So in a nutshell, guys, these are quality NFTs and quality artwork. So for example, what they offer over here are, well, trading cards, NFT trading cards, for example, boxing, but also American football. So all kinds of different things are available on Affinity, but at least they are quality projects, very important. Also part of this authenticated NFT platform are great partnerships with very special people. For example, over here, you do see to the left of me, an NFT of Lionel Messi, one of the best full players of all time. So you, not everywhere, guys, you can find NFTs of Lionel Messi, and especially not ones made by Boss Logic, one of the most renowned NFT makers of this current era. So guys, great partnerships, great artists, and overall great NFTs, if you like the kind of artwork at least. After the Messi NFTs, right now, Affinity is about to drop a great new collection, namely the Bruce Lee collection. And this time around, guys, the drop is very, very soon. January 8th, 2022 at 12 p.m. Eastern time. So guys, great collection again. It's all in mind of Bruce Lee, of course. And this time around, all again, great artists working on the project. For example, Boss Logic, but also Rev Brazzetti and Anthony Francisco. You guys know these artists well, you know that these deliver quality projects again. Also, guys, I mentioned the drop time because, well, there are some NFTs that only have one edition, like, for example, this one over here. And there are also some more, the Bruce Lee Warrior over here by Boss Logic. Only one edition, guys. So if you want to get one of these, be there exactly at 12 p.m. Eastern on the 8th of January. I myself don't dabble that much into art, so therefore I don't know if I can flip these NFTs for a profit. I'm a trader after all. But at least subjectively, guys, I can say it's some beautiful artwork. Anyway, if you like this kind of artwork, definitely check out the link down below to find the Affinity website, guys, and definitely be there at 12 p.m. Anyway, what I do know is that NFTs are definitely booming, and buying tokens that actually enable NFT trading or NFT minting has been doing great as well. So guys, in this part of the video, we'll talk about the ERN token, so the Affinity Chain token, and talk about the tokenomics and use cases. ERN is both a utility token as well as a farming token. So what I can do first and foremost is actually buying NFTs. So over here, we do see Luis Suarez, and it has been listed for 666 ERN. So if I want to buy this NFT, I have to buy now, and I have to pay 666 ERN. And of course, luckily for us, they also give me the fixed price in dollar amount. Anyway, that is utility number one. The other one is actually farming stones. So the farming nature of the ERN token. So over here, I enter the ERN amount I actually want to use. And once I start farming, I will receive in return every day 1,000 stones. And those stones, again, can be used to actually buy or get specific NFTs that are curated, for example. Then regarding the tokenomics of ERN. So ERN is currently almost rank 400 on coin market cap. So still a small market cap coin, if you ask me. The circling supply of ERN is almost 30 million, but that's still only 50% of the max supply. Currently, guys, the coin is trading at nearly 10 US dollars. And in the past, though, we did see a public sale for as low as 27 US dollar cents. And having said that as well, if I look at the overview, well, there has been a lot of price movement for this coin. So if you look at all data available, ERN traded almost as high as $70 at its peak. And right now it seems it kind of bottomed out over here near the $9, $10 mark. Personally, guys, I'm actually pretty bullish on the ERN token price. And that is all due to the roadmap of Affinity 2.0 in this year, 2022. There are some pretty basic things on the roadmap. For example, launch of the mobile app, which is a very important part, of course but also some very other cool things like NFT staking. And I personally am really hyped about the development of the play to earn game. I don't know if you know guys, but play to earn is becoming a big hype, not only for the coming months, 
but probably for the years to come with great publishers like for example ubisoft joining the game as well but also one other thing is absolutely huge that is the launch of the ethereal metaverse metaverse ladies and gentlemen is absolutely getting huge meta joining so facebook joining and right now definitely affinity wants a small part of that pie so i can really understand why people are bullish on the ern token just looking at this roadmap next to me and i definitely think that ern is something that will hold on for a longer term of course uh, ladies and gentlemen disclaimer again this is by no means any financial advice the opinion though is of my own so do with it as you take Anyway, small market cap coins are always the most dangerous, but always also have the most potential, especially looking at the history of ERN. We could go back to like 70 US dollars. That will be a 7x already going to the previous all-time high. So guys, looking pretty bullish if you ask me. Having said all of that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for the conclusion. So first and foremost, the Affinity Marketplace is looking very smooth. That's already a great first starter. Then also, of course, the drops like in what we see with Bruce Lee, absolutely amazing. And also the great plans for the platform, but a good looking roadmap. So far, so good. And definitely there's enough room for growth with the ERN token. Anyway, guys, that was my overview of the Affinity chain. Therefore, guys, I would like to thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.